To save time, a businessman took a small airplane to get to a lunch meeting and then return home. The plane flew a total of four hours, and each way the trip was 200 miles. What was the speed of the wind that affected the plane, which flies at a speed of 120 miles per hour with no wind? To answer this question, we will first use the formula distance equals rate times time, or d equals r times t, and record the given information in the table provided. Once we have all the information in the table, we will set up and solve a rational equation in order to determine the speed of the wind. Let's also let the variable w equal the wind speed, and we will assume on the way there, there was a headwind, which means the plane was flying into the wind, which means the rate of the plane would be less than 120 miles per hour. And on the way back, there was a tailwind, which means the plane was flying with the wind, and therefore the rate of the plane is going to be more than 120 miles per hour. To begin, we know each way the trip was 200 miles, which means the plane flew 200 miles with a headwind and 200 miles with a tailwind. And now let's talk about the rate of the plane with a headwind and with a tailwind. Again, with a headwind, the plane is flying into the wind, and therefore the overall rate of the plane is going to be less than 120 miles per hour, which means the rate of the plane, r, with a headwind is equal to 120 miles per hour minus the wind speed. Let's record this in the table. And when the plane is flying with a tailwind, again, the wind is making the plane go faster, and therefore the rate of the plane r is equal to 120 miles per hour plus w, the wind speed. Let's also record this in the table. Now we don't know the time the plane flew with a headwind or the time the plane flew with a tailwind. But going back to the equation, distance equals rate times time, if we solve the equation for time or the variable t, we get time equals distance divided by rate. And because we have an expression for the distance and rate, we can write an expression for the time the plane flew with a tailwind as well as a headwind. The time the plane flew with a headwind is equal to distance divided by rate, or 200, divided by the quantity 120 minus w, and the time the plane flew with a tailwind is equal to distance divided by rate, or 200, divided by the quantity 120 plus w. And then finally, we know the plane flew for a total of four hours, which means the time the plane flew with a headwind plus the time the plane flew with a tailwind must equal four hours which gives us the rational equation 200 divided by the quantity 120 minus w plus 200 divided by the quantity 120 plus w must equal four. This is the rational equation we must solve for w in order to determine the wind speed. Let's solve this on the next slide. To solve a rational equation, we first clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator. Notice here the least common denominator is the quantity 120 minus w times the quantity 120 plus w, which means for the next step, we will multiply both sides of the equation, or all of the expressions on both sides of the equation by the product of the two denominators. If it's helpful, when the product involves a fraction, we can write the product as a fraction with a denominator of one, here and here. And now we will determine each product, but we will first simplify. For the first product, 120 minus w divided by 120 minus w is equal to one. The product simplifies to 200 times the quantity 120 plus w. Now we have plus. Simplifying here, 120 plus w divided by 120 plus w was one, giving us the product 200 times the quantity 120 minus w equals, on the right side nothing simplifies, we have four times the quantity 120 minus w times the quantity 120 plus w. And that's the term on each product on the left. We distribute 200 here as well as here. 200 times 120 is equal to 24,000. 
And then we have plus 200 times W or 200W. And we have plus 200 times 120, again, is 24,000. And then we have minus 200 times W, which gives us minus 200W. On the right side, let's multiply the two binomials first, which will give us four times the quantity. And then multiplying, 120 times 120 equals 14,400. The next two products should be opposites. Here we have positive 120W, and then we have negative 120W, so that gives us zero. And then we have negative W times positive W, which gives us negative W squared or minus W squared. Going back to the left side of the equation, we combine like terms. We have two constant terms, and we have two variable terms. Looking at the variable terms, 200W minus 200W is zero, those two terms simplify out, and 24,000 plus 24,000 equals 48,000. So we have 48,000 equals, on the right side, we distribute four. Four times 14,400 equals 57,600. And we have minus four times W squared, which gives us minus four W squared. Notice how we have a quadratic equation, but there's no W term only a w squared term, which means to solve the equation, we will first isolate the w squared term by subtracting 57,600 on both sides of the equation. Forty-eight thousand minus 57,600 equals negative 9,600. On the right side, this difference is zero, we're left with negative four w squared. The next step is to divide both sides by negative four to solve for w squared. Negative 9,600 divided by negative four equals positive 2,400. On the right, negative four divided by negative four simplifies to one. One times w squared is w squared. And now to solve for w, we need to undo the squaring by square rooting both sides of the equation. Algebraically, there is going to be a positive and negative solution, but because we know W represents wind speed, we're only concerned about the principal square root or the positive square root. So on the right side of the equation, the square root of W squared is equal to W. And now to evaluate the square root of 2,400, we will use a calculator. We press second X squared for the square root, enter 2,400, press enter. Let's round to the nearest mile per hour, or the ones place value, because we have 48.9, this would round to 49. W is approximately 49. And remember, W is the wind speed, or the speed of the wind that affected the plane, which means we now know the speed of the wind that affected the plane was approximately 49 miles per hour. I hope you found this helpful.